there was a there was a story, and I must tell you, we uh, we drove we flew into Montreal, and when we flew into Montreal, uh, it was a we st I forgot where we stayed. Joanne Rou Joanne Rougeau, I believe, was the promoter of <laughs> the Montreal or the some of the Quebec towns, and uh, we flew in and we were starving. And uh, believe it or not, some of the best steaks you could get was at uh, uh, what they call, I don't know what they call strip joints in, uh, in, <laughs> on, in Quebec. I think they're called peelers or whatever. But um, it, was, it was like a, a strip joint. And um, we went to this place, we started eating steak and rice. And then Shawn Michaels had this brilliant idea of, well, let's get a shot of Jack Daniels. And then it's like, okay, let's get a shot of Jack Daniels. And it was me, Kevin Nash, Scott Hall, Shawn X Michaels. Excuse me? X-Pac? X-Pac was there, mm -hmm. myself, and, uh, you know, and, you know, they're all main event guys. I'm the bottom of the barrel. And as we're drinking and eating, time goes by. Uh, it's like, well, it's 5 o'clock. Uh, the show starts in Quebec at 7.30. And it was snowing. There's nowhere we're going to make Quebec City. And we were in a van. We're just, you know, going as fast as we can. Half of us drunk. Okay? And just driving as fast as we could. And back then, we didn't have cell phones. So somehow, we got to a phone, a pay phone. If you kids don't even know what pay phones <laughs> are. We called uh, Chief J. Strongbow, who was there. And he's like... Cause that was the first match against uh, Savio Vega. Mm -hmm. And they're like, don't worry, Aldo will be there. I'm literally getting dressed, and I was drunk. Putting my stuff on, in the car, driving about, I mean, I know you guys do kilometers, but driving very fast, <laughs> I mean, at least 80 miles an hour, uh, and, and just getting our stuff on. And literally, I got out of the car. It is still snowing in my Aldo stuff. They're hitting my music. And I'm running out to the ring, not having any idea what the finish is. But the fun part was Undertaker, Yokozuna, and his crew were like, Oh, okay, young boy. You're going to play this Big Shot stuff with us? So they sat there and said, Savio, kick his ass. So they made Savio give me all these hardcore chops to the chest. And then Savio would look to the, to the curtain because Taker, Yoko, all the, they were all peeking. And every time Savio would give me one, he'd look over to the curtain. Should I give him one more? You'd see all, all through the curtain, one more. Ah, boom. You know, but those were the fun times. You know, those were... It was innocence. It was, you know, a lot of it was stupidity. But, uh, yeah, it was, uh, you know, that's how it was back then.